Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the channel. Today I'm going to replace the brakes, the rear brakes, and the discs, the rotors, on my wife's Lexus NX200T. I have some other videos on this car, uh, but it's time to replace the brake, the pads. We're going to inspect the pads. We're going to inspect the rotors. I think the back rotors need to be replaced, so let's get back to work. Here are the parts I have for today's project. Two rotors, rear uh, pads, front pads. I like Ekibono uh, pads, they're Japanese pads. Uh, great pads, soft, they don't squeak, they don't make noise. They last a long time. Uh, I purchased these, everything is from, uh, actually everything is from Rock Auto. Uh, they're not sponsoring this uh, this project, this, this video, but uh, I'd like to, Purchase stuff from them, rockauto.com. As always, safety is first. Make sure you jack up the car in the proper location. And also use jack stands, as you can see. Just very quickly, this is where I jacked up the car from. You don't want to hit the exhaust pipe or anything around the exhaust pipe, you want to put the jack stand or the jack itself on the chassis, on the frame right there. And also <clears throat> use jack stands at the right location. The right location is, I'm going to go under the car so you may. All right, I already unbolted the wheels. We're going to take the wheels and inspect the brake. This is the tool you need to remove the electronic brake pad sitting right behind the caliper. It's so much easier to remove this damn thing. So this is what you need, H5 and a little extension. And the two bolts that I'm talking about, this is the electronic brake pad on this car. Make sure you release it. Make sure it's not on from inside. You have to release it to be able to take this off. You are, uh, there are two bolts right here. These are the bolts. This is the pattern inside. That's why you need that tool. All right, this is a better angle, I think. There is one. Right here, you see my finger? I'm gonna focus. There is one right here. This is the electronic brake pad. And there is the other one right here. You gotta remove these two bolts, undo the brakes from the inside, release it, release the, uh, the brake, the electronic button that you have to release. You are also, uh, you can also remove this, the port, if you press this, or the power. You can release it, you can remove it this way. I'm not going to, I'm just gonna just uh, basically wiggle this thing out. If you don't remove this, unless you have really great tools, you, you're not able to unbolt these, the caliper bolts. That's the only, that's the pain in the ass part. Uh, you gotta have to remove that. So, there you go. Just can put this thing up here for now. And next is to remove the caliper bolt. All right, 14 millimeter. There we go. You see this is spinning. This over here, this other bolt is spinning over here. So you kind of have to stop that. I'm going to get the, get my, get my toolbox. Be right back. 
All right, just uh, grab this side with the device and kind of loosen it up. No need to put too much pressure. Same process at the bottom. Bolts are out. Rest this somewhere. Oops. Rest it here, man. You don't want to drop it. And we have to push the cylinder in. Uh, yep, as you can see, these shoes are in terrible shape. Terrible, terrible. The disc is okay looking. The other side, unfortunately, is a little bit damaged. There is a line, so that's why I may have to replace the, the rotors, I mean. So, let's see if we can remove these. You get a screwdriver. Actually, you can, they just come out. Just slide them out. Just simply Yep. Uh, pay attention to this because we gotta replace these two. How they come out, I would just recommend taking one out like this, grab the new one and replace it with the new one it's gonna get a brake fluid a brick a brake cleaner i'm sorry brake cleaner to you know to clean up the place and then replace it with the new one all right so we have a new one what i like to do is yank the old one out and put a new one exactly the way the old one came out that pretty much you don't need to do the guesswork which way how do you have to do this all that stuff and I have decided to replace the rotor so we're gonna put these two on take this piece out with these two bolts get the rotor out put a new rotor but for now we're just gonna replace the whole thing just gently get this out again it comes out this way you can see I am going to replace it with the same brand new one just kind of have to get it the right angle you see this way take this out put this one back in as simple as it gets. What I love about Ekibono pads, they come with brand new clips. Pads are fantastic quality. We're gonna get the, we're gonna take this out the caliper bracket. We're gonna get the rotor out, put a new one, put everything back together. You need 17 millimeter for, for the bracket. So I have to remove the back shoe. Wow, 
almost gone not good we should have replaced them sooner but uh, this is my wife's car so she forgot to mention it to me till a couple of days ago she mentioned oh the brakes are squeaking so same concept with the brackets back here I'm gonna replace all of them with the new one all right sometimes the rotor is stuck it won't come out you just have to use these screws right or the holes right here to put a especially this one you put a bolt in here you spin it and it will push the rotor out so we, that's what we're gonna do we're gonna remove it it's not coming out and I don't feel like banging it with the with the hammer so let's be safe and do it right there we go so I used the bolt right here screwed it all the way in and that forces the disc to come out as you can see it's pretty nasty and rusty here that's why they get stuck so we're gonna lubricate that thing we're tossing this out getting a new one clean that Maybe a little too much, but all right. Make sure you take these bolts out from the caliper bracket and put brake grease. Brake caliper grease on and put them back in. I like to clean them first, get the old crap out. They should be moving nice and free, as you can see. Nice and clean. <clears throat> Before we put the bracket on, uh, also you need you may need this tool to push the piston in, but we're gonna put this on, put the bracket on, and then push it in. It's you don't want to do it in the air; it's difficult. Water. Right. 
Một đống nha Một đống nha All right, so here's what I found out. I, I was trying to push the piston in and it wasn't going anywhere. So I figured there's gotta be a lock somewhere. With this stupid design of an electronic brake system, you have to release it from the back for the piston to be able to push the piston in. Such a stupid design. And this is the kind of, you know, tour or tool you need to, uh, to release this screw back here basically this weird looking thing luckily I have it so you just push it put it back here you do this you kind of open it up from the back to be able to push from the front because I was like why the hell is this not going in so and then once you do this And we put the second bolt. You obviously put the second bolt up here, but we got to put the pads on before we do anything. So, uh, all right, time to put the shoes on. What I like to do is I put a little bit of grease here and a little bit of grease right here, just a little bit. So when you put the bracket on, it won't get stuck after a while. So basically this goes here. Again, just a little bit. Jen. Come on. What the hell is the matter? Okay, we'll do the top first and the bottom. When I was trying the bottom, the, it wasn't going in. So stupid. Do the same thing with the other one. Going to the other side a little bit. So it slides in and out easier. I guess same concept, do the top first and do the bottom. It goes in much smoother, perfect. Next is 
All right, next is to put this thing back on and the electronic brake system, which is such a pain in the ass. <clears throat> As I mentioned, I like to just put a little bit of grease here so the shoe doesn't get stuck to that side and uh, or to the piston just a little bit Snug him in, close him, tighten the bolt. Perfect. Great. Next is the the retarded. Brake thingy, electronic brake crap. And you just push it in and it's all the way in. I got a little bit of this locking thingy, you can see. Much. That's not what you want to be able to get this thing out here. Okay, nice and snug. I really don't know the torque spec for these screws, but uh, you know, you just wanna make sure they're, usually they're probably around 20 to 25 pounds. On the smaller screws, on the bigger one, could go around like 65 to 75 pounds. Okay, perfect. That's that's good. Double check all the all the screws again. Uh, we already did this. Nice and tight. And the bigger one too that we had down here. The actual main caliper. Ugh. Great. Perfect. One on this side. Remember, one is, and also one back here. They're easy to get to. Perfect. 
perfect. Nice and tight. Ladies and gentlemen, we are done. We just need to clean up. And by clean up, I mean, we need to uh, spray, use this brake cleaner spray and spray the hell out of it. Swap that away. And Well, we're going to continue to do the same thing on the other side. I don't need to record this, but pretty much you have a pretty good understanding as far as what needs to be done. Again, the most important part is this electronic brake that's sitting all the way back there, but we have brand new rotor, we have brand new shoes, and I'm going to do the same thing. On the other side, there's no reason to record it, but if you guys like these type of videos, please share, subscribe, and like to boost up the channel. I really appreciate you guys watching these videos. For now, I'm going to continue the other side, and uh, pretty much end this video. Peace out. Have a great day. Be well and be safe out there. And more videos will come out uh, on my other cars. All right. Have a good one.